Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I got something amazing, and that is MLC LLM. And this is a new cutting edge technology that offers a universal solution for deploying any language model on a wide range of hardware backends, as well as native applications such as NVIDIA and different like installations on different hardware backends with different GPUs. Now, Basically, its core feature is to provide a productive framework that allows developers as well as users to actually optimize model performances for their specific use cases. Now, this is something that we're going to be exploring in today's video by going a little bit more in depth as to what they're trying to accomplish, as well as get a better understanding of some of the actual cons and pros of this actual application, as well as what this project is trying to do. We're also going to take a look at how you can actually install it onto your actual hardware. There's different ways in which you can do so, so I'll t definitely showcase that. And with that thought, guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. It really means so much to me. I know I haven't uploaded for the last couple of days because I was out of town doing a lot of work. So I wasn't able to actually prioritize and upload. I'm really sorry for that, guys. But I'm back on my regular schedule and you should expect two to three videos a day. Now, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have been giving me, guys. Because it really means so much to me. I had not expected to see a channel grow this fast within like four weeks probably now i had no expectations i was just making these videos for the fun of it guys because if you i'm just like a new grad doing stuff like this and it just means a lot to me guys because sharing as well as like creating content that helps people really means a lot to me because like in the joy of others lies our own and helping other people definitely means a lot to me and what you guys have done for me has been remarkable and I, I'm going to continue to work my hardest to improve my speech, my content, and the value that I provide to you guys because it really means a lot to me for all the support and all the care that you guys actually give me. And thank you guys so much for the people who have been supporting me on this. You guys have been actually donating and I did not expect anyone to do so. And it really means a lot because I'm not using this for my personal gain guys because I'm putting this all back into this channel i actually used some of this to purchase an api key because i didn't have the funds to actually do that before and now i actually did it so this way i can like showcase different things by doing actual demos using an api key so it really means so much to me guys that you guys have been supporting me and with that thought guys let me get right back into the video sorry i was rambling i just wanted to show my appreciation to all you guys now if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos it would mean the world to me guys if you guys can do so if you guys aren't subscribed please do so and like this video and with that thought let's get right into the video so what is mlclm now i talked about a little bit but let me give you a little bit more details on it now basically based on the details available from their actual repo we're able to understand that mlclm is a machine learning interface engine that enables the deployment of natural language processing so this way it's easier for you to access different models on different hardwares and this enables the deployment of different nlp models on a range of platforms and this is something that's quite remarkable guys because you you don't see chat gpt on your phone or different applications it's something that you can only access on the desktop at the current moment obviously you can do it now through your mobile device but you're not able to access different models maybe uncensored ones on your phone or different hardwares and basically what this project is trying to do is it's trying to include these other hardwares that so that you're you're able to support it on different hardwares and it supports a variety of programming languages guys because it includes python c swift and different like gpus and softwares that is that makes this actual whole project more applicable for different people with different use cases and it's going to make it so much accessible to a wide range of developers as well and i feel like this is going to be one of the most remarkable things that we're going to be able to see in a development in the coming days as well as the coming weeks now one of the key features of this amazing project is that its ability to optimize models for specific use cases now what we're going to be showcasing is like a flow chart of how it actually works but basically it enables developers to fine-tune performance and accuracy for specific applications you're able to optimize for different gpus as well as different hardware backends and the technology support models basically helps you reduce the size of the model and it enables faster interface so you're going to be able to do this so that you're able to 
remove unnecessary weights and connections to improve the actual performance of what you're trying to run on different hardwares. Now this LLM supports a range of hardware backends, including metal GPUs on Apple devices, you're able to use Vulkan on Windows, Linux, uh, CUDA, uh, I believe is NVIDIA GPUs as well. And it also includes a support for web GPU. This is another project that I actually made a video on, so I highly recommend that you check it out. And it basically enables an interface directly on your browser, which you can run on Chrome. Now, in addition to supporting a range of hardware and software platforms, this LM is also designed to make it so much easier to integrate into existing workflows. So it includes a command line interface for like quick development as well as supports popular machine learning frameworks such as maybe like tensorflow or pytorch so that you can utilize it as a developer for different use cases and you're going to be able to make a better impact using this actual llm so let's take an actual look as to how it works in terms of its flow chart now based off of this actual demo we're able to get a better understanding breaking down the several key steps so there's actually four steps as to how this operates the first one is the input encoding and this is where the first step is of this actual flowchart and it is the input encoding where the text input is converted into a numerical representation and basically it is then processed by a large language model for example in this case they have Baikuna so in it processes it by the actual language model and this is typically done using methods such as tokenization where it, the actual text is split into individual tokens words or phrases or etc and it's then mapped into corresponding numerical values basically we've seen this with many different LLMs where it's the actual information is split into different chunks so that the encoders can utilize as well as pick out certain chunks that are actually related to the prompt and this is what the actual application is doing and the second step is actually the embedding where in the embedding step the actual numerical representations of the input is then transported into the actual high dimensional vector that captures the semantics meaning of the actual input so it then gets a better understanding of the numerical chunks and this is done by a pre-trained embedding model which they have installed installed sorry into the actual flowchart i mean the application and this maps the numerical values to a high dimensional vector space and then what follows after is the third step where the model enter like basic interference of once the actual input has been encoded and embedded what happens is that the language model then performs an inference to generate the output and this typically involves like the processing of the input through several layers of neutral as well as neural networks which learns to identify patterns and relationships of what is being sent from the actual numerical chunks and obviously from this you're able to get the output decoding where this is the final step and this is where the output of the language model is converted back into a human relatable or readable text and this is typically done by the methods such as beam search where the model basically generates multiple different output sequences and it selects the most likely sequence based off the set criteria of your initial prompt that you've given and this is how it works guys and obviously i'm gonna this is just a little background of how the actual system works or the flowchart of the actual application but we're, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at how it operates in terms of the potential use cases as well as how it can functionally operate within different hardwares and gpus so what this project has actually done is they're trying to obviously incorporate into different hardwares and gpus but what they're trying to do is the potential have the potential use cases of this element on consumer devices to be brought out with different use cases such as personalization using it on offline support having it decentralized which is absolutely amazing specialization and app embedding so that it could be used with third-party vendors to incorporate in certain use cases and obviously with the first case which is the concept of personalization and this is where the large language models are able to actually perform many different tasks but may not know our personal preferences such as our favorite music or like our writing style now in the future what they're trying to do is so that there may be a demand of a personalized ai companion that is tailored to our individual needs and it can be used to enhance our daily productivity now these models could work alongside with 
what our actual needs are. So it uses our personal data to basically give the best output and it creates this personal AI companion where we would need to like basically feed personal data to the model and it would ideally run them off of our own devices so we can get the best output using our personal preferences. The second concept is the application integration, which we talked about. And this is where large language models can be adapted to specific use cases with different third party vendors. And this way we're able to get the best experience of the application. So in this case, it was a game and it could be incorporated with the story specialized LM dialogue model. And this way we're able to generate different ways for the game to use the large language model to give the best output. Now, the third concept is an offline support in a client server hybrid use case. And this way you're able to upload uh, maybe an offline model of the large language models, have all the weights put onto a different cloud, and it utilizes the cloud to generate your prompts offline without any use of basic like uh, internet use. And this way you're able to generate anything that you want without any sort of like internet connection or network. And the final step is decentralization. And this is where the power or the computer power of an individual consumer device may be less powerful than the of an actual data center. But when it's actually connected together, it can perform powerful tasks by utilizing different neural networks of different hardwares. And this way you're gonna have the potential of this concept where it can give you the best connection throughout different outputs as well as different inputs to get you the best use case of this application on different hardwares. And this is something that they've actually emphasized on guys in the future cases of what this LM can accomplish. Now, this is something that's quite remarkable because it's gonna be something that they're gonna develop over time. And obviously there's gonna be certain limitations that they're gonna to work towards fixing, but this is just the start guys. And we're gonna see a lot more as to what they're trying to do. Now, in terms of what their actual goals are, I wanted to emphasize what this is going to be, what they're trying to accomplish and how they're going to be able to do so. Now, obviously we know that the primary goal of this project is to make it possible for AI models to be developed and optimized and basically deployed for interfaces on a wide range of devices. And this is something that's amazing because AI has been basically popping off in these recent like years. And what people want to do is actually get the use cases of it and what this will obviously do is make people's day-to-day -day lives way more easier as you're going to be able to access like different like models using this actual application because it'll be way more accessible on different fronts and i believe that with the addition of this amazing software we're going to be able to like enhance the basic day-to-day -day needs as well as wants of different people's tasks on a day-to-day -day front and you're going to be able to like basically make life so much easier on a wide scale scale range so this is going to be quite groundbreaking in my opinion because it's going to make it more accessible like large language models in general more accessible to a wide range of people across the whole world and i definitely feel like this is going to be quite remarkable because it's going to do so much good for a lot of different people and i hope you guys can get a chance to check this out now, in terms of installing it, you want to go on to the MLC website and I'll leave all the links down in the description below. And you can install this actually on a local GPU as well as your phone and laptop. And it runs fairly easy on these processors. So definitely recommend that you check it out. I'm not going to go through an each like a detailed like explanation as to how you can do it onto your like processor or model because it's quite extensive. And there's if you want me to make a video on it, I can definitely do so. But if you want to check it on the iPhone, there's actually a demo as to how you can do it. You can install it on Windows as well as on your local uh, GPU. And that's basically it, guys. You can also ask, access it using Web LLM. And this is basically a companion project that helps you operate it off of Chrome. So I definitely recommend that you check this out. All the links will be in the description below. And definitely read through the disclaimer before actually working towards using this because it's basically meant for research purposes at the moment and that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you had a fun time as well as got a lot of value out of today's video thank you so much for watching guys i really really appreciate it if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos i highly recommend that you do so there's a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace out fellas have an amazing day have a great smile and i'll catch you soon peace out fellas